Okay, the stir fry is starting to come out. Okay, now I've added the veg in. All right, let's show you what I got today. That's a staple. Shouldn't have to talk about it too much. The new things I bought was frozen prawns. Uh, these are like three pounds for the bag, so not too bad on little. Got myself some bananas for me to peel and drop into pieces so I can put them in my smoothies. I like freeze them in the freezer and I'll probably use like about a third each time I put in my smoothie and it makes it really, really nice and thick. Today I'm thinking to do a stir fry which is why I bought the prawns. So I got myself a couple packs of vegetable stir fry from Lidl. These were 89 pence, so they're really, really cheap. You got all sorts in there, you got peppers, you got broccoli, you've got green, green beans, you got bean sprouts, you got all sorts in there. So I bought two of those. I bought myself these little, little 300 calorie pizzas for when I want to have like a little bit of a treat because eating one of them is not too bad. Obviously, you know, I always get my garlic apples. Um, for the stir fry, I'm also going to put in some chicken thigh fillets. The reason I got thigh fillets is I got two packs of that. Then I also have another pack of the prawns. So yeah, that's basically my shop from Lidl today. What I'm debating doing is going out to go buy a wok purely because those of you that watch these videos know that when I make my, my, my stir fries, my chicken fillets, all that stuff, my wraps, and my vegetable, because I use... <coughs> Because I use one of these, they're not really big enough and they're not deep enough either so a lot of the times the food kind of spills over the edge and that's basically losing out on gains. If your food falls over the edge of your pan, you're losing out on gains. So I'm thinking to get myself like a nice deep pan wok so I can add more veg and rice into when I'm cooking the meat. Just putting the prawns away and I remember I still have the prawns I got from Iceland. So I'm going to give you a quick tip. These are the ones I get from Iceland. It's a massive pool bag and this pool bag is £5. Anyone that knows about prawns knows that that is a, that is a massive bag that normally have full. For £5 that's really affordable, really cheap and there's a reason for that. This full bag of prawns does not taste nowhere near as good as like other brands I've noticed anyway. It tastes okay, they're nice size and they're quite big but to be honest they don't taste as fresh or anything so to be honest me personally I won't be buying these prawns again. These aren't co-signed by TJ anymore. The price is but the quality isn't. Okay, this is the cheapest one I've seen. It's on August. It's six pound. What is good, people? I was gonna go to the gym first, but I know for a fact after I go to the gym and do, I'm doing 30 minutes cardio today. I'm not gonna bring my sticky house, my sticky house, my sticky self to go to fucking August. What the fuck's going on? And um, so I thought I'm gonna go August first. So I pre-ordered it. Hopefully they should have it in stock. Said I play for the Gunners. Oh, I love J Horse. Ain't no room for you suckers. Maybe I should have went gym. Because I'm stuck in traffic. While I'm stuck in this traffic, I might as well talk to you guys. For the last two weeks, I've been more or less on around 2,200 calories. Uh, doing around, I started off doing 10 minutes of cardio, then I moved up to 20. This week, I think I'm going to move up to 30 minutes of cardio. And I'm also con contemplating, depending on my weigh-in tomorrow is, moving the calories down to 2,000 or 2,100. I'm perhaps doing it gradual, can only do it too drastic as long as the weight's dropping. But for the last few days, it's been really kind of hard to kind of get it past 156. Come on! I want to get my food, well, get my walk so I can get some gains, so I can get some food. I finally made it to August. You want to know a fun fact about that August in particular? When I was younger, probably say 14, 15-ish, I went to that August once to buy, I don't know what it was, a game or something anyway. And basically the girl behind the counter was the most beautiful, prettiest girl ever. I used to be so shy, I would never talk to her, I never did. It kind of still sticks to me now. Every time I go in there, I think, damn, that was when the pretty girl was in. I never talked to her because I was a bitch. So moral of the story I'm trying to tell you people is never have regrets, even big or small, because even as small as that is, it's still, when I walk into this door, it's still a memory that comes into my head. Anyway, off to the gym. Ooh, this is the jam. Any more room for me in those jeans? Every girl when I was younger, play that song. You play that song, that, trust me. Let me put you on some good knowledge. Gary Vaynerchuk, what I want to show you is a very good talk he did. He more or less in that talk talks about how to get out of your own way. And he also talks about sometimes you have to be careful about who you have around you. Oh, look at Mike Diamonds on his live. I'm going to start using Instagram live way more. Like I've started doing it when I'm cooking. Like every so often I do my meal prep. Because it takes fucking hell Mike. Shut the fuck up. 
When I'm doing my meal prep, um, I'm, I do Instagram lives now. I've been doing it for I think the last two times. So when I'm making my food at least, and that gives, it gives me 10 to 15 minutes to like talk to people rather than me usually just watching a YouTube video. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, go follow me. It's chilling with TJ, and I'll try to do at least one live every few days. Shouts out to everybody. So we're doing Instagram live while I cook my actual foods. Okay, the stir fry is starting to come out okay. Now I've added the veggie in. Uh, the prawns are cooked. From what I can see, most of the chicken's cooked. So I'm just waiting to a couple more minutes for the veg, and then I'm ready to more or less dish out a portion for myself. All right, what you've seen is being two servings. So here's the macros. This is off two servings. Obviously, I'm going to split them into two. So this is half what I'm saying. But for this whole pot, you can see it is 160 grams of protein, uh, 28 grams of fat, 14 carbs. You can see the macros right there, 67% protein that meal is. And this is basically half that, it's basically everything half. So each portion of this meal basically is going to be around 80 grams of protein. What's in there is a full bag of king prawns, a full bag, just one bag of the vegetable stir fry, a packet and a little bit, about 600 grams of chicken because I used a bit more than one packet. And the calories for the whole bowl is around 900, so say around 450, say 500, I'll give or take things I may have miscalculated. So yeah, that's 500 calories uh, for half the pan and 8 grams of protein, that's, that's muy bueno. Alright people, this is now going to be the week of the stir fries. Uh, today we are testing out stir frying uh, diced beef with the veggie saw in the last video and also mixing it with some chicken. So yeah, I'm not gonna probably film in depth about that, but if you wanna see that in a recipe video, let me know and I'll do it in more depth. I also decided to be semi-lazy, because I went to Asda today and I got some chopped up sweet potatoes. Uh, I was actually looking to get the actual potato, like the proper one, so it's cheaper, but uh, literally, Asda's sweet potato section was shit. Like the width, the odd shaped, I like the, uh, no homo, the longer kind of shaped ones rather than a full circle, because it's easier to chop up. Shut the fuck up. Uh, anyway, these are okay. Just £1.50 for the bag though, which is kind of expensive, but they're not seasoned. That's the benefit of them, because a lot of like, places like Tesco that sell these ones in bags, they normally have them pre-seasoned, and when they're seasoned, there's some higher fats and stuff like that in it, so at least it's plain potato just chopped up for me. Um, so I'll be hit heating up Lidl eventually in the next few days. Okay, people, what we're going to do now is add the chicken first into the pan. Okay, because we're making a chicken and beef wrap, if you don't know, chicken needs to be cooked first because it just takes longer to cook. So I'm putting the chicken in first because it takes around on the frying pan 10 to 15 minutes. The beef should only take around like 7 to 10 minutes at, at most. Otherwise, the beef will get really, really chewy and that's not what you want. So the chicken's going in first. Come on. I didn't say to you guys why I'm actually making a stir fry. When I make stir fries with this type of vegetable, I don't feel the need to put them into a wrap, so it's kind of like lowering my carbs. Because when I use the Mediterranean veg, I usually end up putting it in a wrap and then I'm getting the carbs from the wrap, which is, get the macros out. Each wrap is 178 calories and is 34 carbs. So obviously I normally have at least two, so that's like 70 carbs I'm saving and like almost 400 calories. So shouts out to the little 89p veg from Lidl. And just to compare, the veg for this packet is, uh, half the pack is 60 calories, so basically 120 calories for the whole bag, which is not bad. And the carbs is obviously low kit veg. All right, the chicken is almost cooked, so I think it's time to add in the beef. Okay, as you can see, the beef is starting to lose its redness, obviously, which is a good thing. So obviously, when the beef starts looking actual brown all over, then that's when you win him. I know some people do mind, don't mind what's called having it a little bit pink on the inside, but I'm not one of those people. I'm not really like a rare person when it comes to beef and steak and stuff like that. Right people, and here we've got some of our prawn, beef, and chicken, vegetable stir fry. So a whole bunch of protein and some veg. And I'm not gonna have no wrap with it, so you know, not much carbs in that meal. But yeah, so more truth, how's it taste? Good. Told you man, Chef TJ's the shit. All right, it's that time again. Time to weigh in. I'm not fully confident with this weigh in because 
today and yesterday I did I gotta be greedy with my food and I ate like double portions so we'll see so I gained a little bit of weight which I should be able to knock back down the next day or two and I'm going to be bringing this to work so I can start having like one pack of oats a day uh, usually I have it later on in the day at work because I normally kind of try and do intermittent fasting during most of my work day and if I can't make it I normally have like a little bit of fruits or anything and the only reason I've got the Quaker Oats brand is because it was on like some ridiculous sale usually I go with the uh, Lidl brand which tastes exactly the same which is oh so, e oh so easy to get my protein I've started mixing in whey protein in it as well so I think I might take the chocolate caramel today and see if that tastes really good in it alright it's later on in the day uh, I've just finished doing my 39 day water vlog if you haven't seen that video it should have been the one before this go check it out it's pretty pretty good um, and, oh shit Beer and Dart still watching that think I got big things going on you know they be wondering where the black limo is at. When they see all they see is the headpiece, they assume it's a black limo. But yeah, so basically I'm still bordering like 155, the hype 155 pounds. Let's see how it goes, but I've got a couple more days left before I end this vlog out. I f with the future. Yeah, the problem is we don't live in the future, Ed. We live in the present. And in the present, that shit looks ridiculous. It's not a cybernetic ear, it's a fing cell phone headset. The only thing you're gonna do with it is call a bitch. And unless the bitch is a Martian, there ain't no explanation for this shit to look that damn high tech. <laughs> As you can tell, I'm team Boondock. A lot of Boondocks and a lot of stir fries. That's my video, Boondocks and stir fries. Alright, and that is today's weighing. People have just came back from flipping Costco, got myself some strawberries and a bunch of other stuff. Like uh, some seasoned sweet potatoes, that's what I wanted to try out. So basically, I'm gonna end the video here uh, because you'll see all that Costco stuff in the next video. I've already vlogged some of that stuff. I just thought I'd just give you a little sneak peek for those who made it to the end. That the next video is probably gonna, the next vlog is gonna be like food shopping at uh, at Costco for games. And uh, basically, right now my life is I'm so obsessed with the show Suits. Seeing as I finished Arrow and uh, uh, and Flash caught to date. I'm literally waiting for Suits to download on my phone so I can go to the gym because all I'm doing is cardio today. So I want to watch a nice 40 minute episode of Suits, get my full cardio done so I can dip. So anyway, those of you who made this far in the video, please thumbs up the video if you enjoyed it. If you made it this far, I'm assuming you like the video. You, you can't make it like 15 minutes plus into a video and not like the video. you got to be somewhat entertained. So please thumbs up the video if you made it this far. If you haven't thumbs up, you've got to think, what is life? You're going to watch me every day, every few days, 15 minutes a day, 80 minutes a day and not like the video. Come on, show support for you, boy. Anyway, I'm about to be gone. So stay getting games, people. I know you fingered that like button by now because you're, you're boys or, and girls. So see you later, and I'm going to enjoy my gym session, sweating my cardio out. Yeah, peace. By no means does Gary V need my shout out because he's just, he's big. If you don't know Gary V, he's just slacking. But what I want to show you is a very good talk he did. That red box one there, it's a very good talk. If I was you, when you're in the gym or you're doing something stationary, just have you playing in the background. It's a very good talk. He has a lot of them. He okay, more or less in that talk, talks about how to get out of your own way and how to like actually do stuff. Because you know people always say, oh yeah, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, but they never do it. That is partly why I came up with the goal wall in my house. Just a little ideas that I've had that I didn't really do or didn't do straight away. Like I usually always do it, but not in a timely fashion for example this youtube channel i wanted to do it like almost a year ahead of when we actually first launched it and if i did that i would have got all the basics out of the way and i'd be probably a year ahead in my career but i never did it because of various reasons and he also talks about sometimes you have to be careful about who you have around you in a sense of uh there may be, you may fear, have fear of doing something because you're worried about how people are going to perceive you how they're going to talk about you so he talks a bit so he talks a bit about that which is kind of cool basically it's a whole hour of just great information and sh people do questions and answers so they ask him stuff and advice and he shuts them down or he gives them good advice it depends on what they ask but it's really good so something i want to touch on is be careful who you keep around you and that necessarily doesn't mean be careful because they're going to fuck you up or they're going to keep you down be careful who you put yourself around because if you know deep down that you're a shit person or a fuck boy or whatever the hell you are and you end someone's life knowing that just make sure you don't bring them down because I feel like people always talk about be careful you have around you because you feel like those people may ruin you but sometimes you could be the dickhead that ruins someone else because not everybody's made for everybody else and that's just based off something in my stuff in my life sometimes I may, be the, may not be the best person to have around you at certain points in my life and I have to appreciate that and sometimes I have to know when not to either influence or be around certain people and the same way how certain people have to know that sometimes they not they may ne they may not necessarily be good for me so it's just give and take with different people and I just thought I'd touch on that because 
I don't know, gems by TJ, drop some gems, it came on my mind, shit's coming up, anything that comes to my mind I normally tell you guys straight away because it is. But anyway, let's get in the house, start making some food and um, making games. <laughs> 